Mastering Possession Unraveling the Possessive Forms of Common Nouns Hello, English learners. Today, we'll dive deep into one of the grammar fundamentals, possessive forms of common nouns. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what these forms are but also how to create them with ease. Let's start our journey. Before we get into the possessive forms, let's recap what common nouns are. Common nouns are words used to name general items rather than specific ones. Examples are words like cat, city, tree, love, and idea. These are not specific to one thing or person. Next, let's discuss possession. When we say possession, in English, we're talking about something that belongs to someone or something. We use the possessive form to show this ownership or belonging relationship. Here comes the main topic of our discussion, how to create the possessive form of common nouns. The general rule is simple, add s to the end of the noun. For example, the possessive form of cat becomes cats as in, the cat's toy. The possessive form of city becomes cities, as in, the city's skyline. However, if the noun is plural and ends with an S, we just add an apostrophe, after the S. For example, the possessive form of dogs is dogs, as in, the dog's owner. Now, there's a special case to consider. Irregular plural nouns. These are nouns that don't end in S when they are in plural form, like children, men, and women. For these nouns, even in their plural form, we add S to show possession. For instance, the children's toys, the men's hats, and the women's rights. And that's it for our discussion on the possessive forms of common nouns. Remember, English is a flexible language, and practice makes perfect. With regular practice, creating and identifying possessive forms will become second nature to you. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing, and I'm sure you'll master these grammar basics in no time. Happy learning!